concerns. This surge in COVID is making it difficult to provide the most critical care to those in need. Nurse Sharon Pappas was one of many healthcare workers who spoke to 11 Alive today with a desperate cry for help. The new surge is putting a strain on Metro hospitals and healthcare workers say it's starting to feel like earlier in the pandemic when they were pleading for your help and flattening the curve. Back then, we didn't have a vaccine, but now we do. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley joins us live right now from Grady Hospital. Joe, what is the situation like at hospitals right now? Well, to put it plainly, Aisha, one doctor called the situation grim, saying that if you're a patient admitted to a hospital such as Grady here or any hospital in the Atlanta area, it's likely you will face a longer wait for care. Doctors all over the metro have seen an increase in patients in the hospital, many of them COVID patients, and the majority of which, over 90%, are unvaccinated. This gaggle of healthcare heads and professionals gathered under the backdrop of Mercedes Benz Stadium earlier this morning to plead that people get the vaccine. They are all currently seeing a flood of hospitalizations right now. They blame the Delta variant. These health professionals say many of these cases could have been prevented by taking the vaccine. Piedmont, Grady, Wellstar, Children's, Emory, Northeast Georgia Health System all represented all with similar stories of strained staff, ventilators, and other resources to help fight the battle against COVID-19. Stories we heard a lot about in the early days of the pandemic. We expect this latest COVID-19 surge driven by the highly infectious Delta variant to significantly outpace the previous highest peak of COVID-19 infections. And it will get worse before it starts getting better. Well, the influx of patients comes on top of an already strained, a heavy load for hospitals. Think about it. Patients who put off surgeries and other care during the pandemic are now coming back top of their regular case load. Of course, uh, some hospitals have had to divert patients as well elsewhere if there's no room when they arrive. These doctors uh, we spoke with earlier this morning predicted that we could see this surge last through Labor Day. All right, Joe, that is very eye opening right there. So our hospital systems, they're divided by regions and every single region in our state is now considered strained due to the high number of COVID-19 patients they have to care for. The latest numbers show more than 4,700 coronavirus patients are in our hospitals today. That's about 28% of all patients in Georgia. The CDC warns that anything at 20% or higher is a danger to our medical resources. So look at the number of ICU beds available. We got Region D, home to some big heavy hitters, Fulton, DeKalb, and Gwinnett Hospitals, 86% full. Region N, which is the Cobb County area, is 3% just shy of maxing out. Experts agree one of the best ways to lower your chances of being hospitalized is 